More than 6 million Australian adults have high blood pressure. It's one of the biggest cases and causes of heart attack and stroke. Now researchers have uncovered a new way to treat the condition by targeting chemicals in the brain. Keeping your blood pressure in check is much like servicing your car. Both are needed, especially as the bodies age. Just better be safe than sorry. Probably every five years, maybe. If yeah, and it's probably a good thing to do. It's very important at my age to have your blood pressure checked regularly. People with obstructive sleep apnea, eating too much salt, being overweight and family history are some of the factors that can drive someone's risk. It happens in about 30% of the population. I have high blood pressure. I'm taking two tablets for it at the moment. It's quite common for people to be resistant and as many as uh, three, four, five medications. Professor Paul Polofsky is leading a team of researchers to develop a more tailored treatment for those with obstructive sleep apnea, where breathing is disrupted many times during the night, affecting oxygen levels in the brain. Mice experiments involving tiny injections have shown that a chemical in the brain called PACAP is key to the chain of events that cause the narrowing of vessels downstream, and blocking its activity can be a powerful way to reduce blood pressure. What we've done is we've identified a novel pathway that specifically occurs in the brain. Researchers say the challenge now is to develop a similar compound for humans that crosses the blood-brain barrier so it can be taken as a pill. Certainly what we do need is a lot more funding. Newer medications and more emphasis on diet and exercise are needed. Walking this young lady out here is quite stressful. Gabriella Rogers, Nine News. Some rare.